Hey, you know this old woman who lived in a shoe? She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. I got something she could do. Get your tubes tied, you kook. Hey, how you doing on that chocolate milk? You need a little freshen up? This, my little sweetie. Are you ready to go home, Stewie? Oh, Lois, I'm glad you're here. I noticed that you're one of the moms who hasn't yet signed up to be a classroom volunteer. Oh, I, I just assumed after that incident in the parking lot with that bitch in the Lexus, you wouldn't want me to. But, yeah, I'd be happy to help out in the class. What? I don't want you here. This is my turf. I don't bother you when you're sitting on the washing machine screaming Aaron Eckhart's name. Great. We'd love to have you start tomorrow if you're free. Sure. Let me just check my schedule. Hmm. I guess I could just get the mail at night. <laughs> Wow, Quagfest is a bigger deal than I thought. Oh, look, here's a simulation of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire. Hi. Bye. All right, kids, now pay attention. All right, these are all of Quagmire's women organized by country. There's Brazil, there's Italy, and there's Thailand. Wow, wow, they're young. We should go. I'd like to thank you all for coming to Quagfest. Now, no celebration of my 1,000th would be complete without first meeting number one. Here she is, all the way from Weathersfield Elementary School, Miss Eleanor. <laughs> Do I still get a piece of candy after? Uh. <laughs> nice lady. All right, we've met number one. Now let's meet number 1,000. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my 1,000th sexual conquest is this largemouth bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm weird. <laughs> 